Happy Friday, YouTube. This is Enzo. Oh, this is Lotus. Today we're gonna talk about five things you should know before you get a German Shepherd. Really, there's more like 500. Don't forget, if you wanna follow them on Instagram, it is on the screen and link below. That Enzo and Lotus, same as the YouTube page. So let's get into the first thing, and that is while some breeds shed, German Shepherds don't. Mm, okay, maybe they do a little. Just a little. Not too much. Okay, so they shed a lot. Let's be honest. The good news is they only shed year round. You'll get used to it. And as long as you're willing to buy six or seven Roombas to run nonstop, there's not a solution to it. They shed, accept it, move on. There are some things you can do to help. One is, like I said, Roombas. We have one for upstairs, one for downstairs. Run them every day. That is really the best thing you can do, honestly, unless you're gonna vacuum yourself every day. All right, the best thing you can do to minimize this is shockingly brush them. Um, there's lots of brushes. We particularly use this Furminator one. I'll link it below, but it works pretty well. Biggest thing that we like about it is one, it's larger, which especially given Enzo's size is helpful. Two, it has this little release, which is helpful. So, one little brush. Best thing you can do is brush them for like five minutes every day. That will do a huge amount to minimize it. And even though they don't necessarily look like it, if you brush them, I guarantee they will look cleaner. It's one of those things that you don't notice it until you do notice it. Larger breed dogs in general will have some joint issues sometimes. German Shepherds are one of them. Uh, hip dysplasia is the one you'll hear the most. And the other one that we're dealing with, if you've been following their videos on my channel, is Pano, which is I think is short for panosteitis, which essentially is growing pains. Enzo had it. We're pretty sure that's partly what Lotus is going through. Um, but basically, you'll just see him limping and stuff. It may shift legs. It may not. With Enzo, it went away around age two. Yeah. Well, yeah, it always goes away. At age two? They can't have it after age two. They can't? It skids the rules? Okay. It generally goes away by age two, apparently. Simple things you can do to minimize this. Obviously, don't do things like have them jump after a ball, which we didn't actually know that with Enzo in the beginning. However, we did know it with Lotus, and while I have it in the video all the time, that was actually accidental. We never intended for him to jump like that. It just, the ball hit a weird, and it jumped, and then he jumped. I mean, they're gonna jump, especially when they're puppies. He jumps after bugs sometimes and does crazy stuff, but obviously don't do anything to encourage it. The other thing you'll notice if you've seen us get in and out of the FJ, they have a little hitch step. If you have a bigger car, I would definitely suggest you do that. I'll link it below. It is expensive. It's like 200, two to $300, but I don't know what hip surgery costs, but I guarantee you probably gotta add a zero to that number, so I think it's well worth it. To minimize it is we do daily supplements, which are linked below as well, and I've talked about them in last week's video in their food video what we feed them, but daily supplements starting around age six months, you can confirm with your vet. We do that uh, fish oil and desiquin. The person you hear off in the video is my wife who doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> so it's I'm not being mean and not showing her. Okay, the third thing is stomach flip. Now I'm not sure if this is unique to German Shepherds or larger breeds, but German Shepherds do have the issue in that if they exercise shortly after eating, which let's be honest, it's not good for any dog or any person, but shortly after eating and really even before, you don't want them to be like super hyped up when they go to eat, their stomach can actually like flip upside down. So if they ever act really weird after eating, you should get to an emergency room quickly. The biggest issue aside from the emergency surgery that literally could kill them is that once it flips once, then it's like prone. It's kind of like dislocating a shoulder or something. Like once it happens, it's likely to happen again. So definitely, definitely, definitely take precautions with that. I usually like to go, like right now we're out here, they're not doing anything too crazy. Um, I like a half hour minimum. When they have breakfast at like six in the morning, we usually don't leave for the park until at least 6.30, 6.40, and then we get there. So they're pushing an hour at that point. All right, number four, socialization. The fact of the matter is German Shepherds are gonna have a stigma they're seen as police and military dogs. They're used because they're highly trainable and especially certain lineages, 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 lineages of German Shepherds are more prone to that. Are you making fun of me? No, I was trying to say it. <laughs> um, they're more prone to this. In fact, I was just talking with a cop 
who stopped me the other day to discuss German Shepherds. And he was explaining. Yeah, anyways, I got pulled over. So people just always associate that. Get used to that. That being said, if you can socialize them early, that is gonna be best. If you followed along with the videos, you know Lotus struggles with this and that's one of the things we're working on with him. It's just going out and socializing, getting near other dogs, not going up to them, mind you, but just going near them. So usually like we'll go to the dog park, but we'll stay outside of the park. We'll just stay like within eyesight so he can see it. We'll go to public places and just walk around, lows, uh, down to the levee, just crowded areas where he can kind of get exposed to that. Did the same thing with Enzo. Enzo hasn't had as much of an issue with it. He's been, Apparently, Enzo is more of the atypical. He's bigger than most, and he's just calmer than most. It's kind of weird. Honestly, Lotus is more of the uh, traditional German Shepherd behavior. You can pout all you want, but you're not going inside. We don't live in a bubble, Lotus. What are you afraid of right he heard now? one little firework noise or something similar. I know, but like he was doing that before that noise yeah, ever happened. Yeah, I know. Happened. And number five. Exercise and stimulation. German Shepherds are herding dogs. That's where they were originally bred for, was to herd. They are meant to be working. They're meant to be outside. They're meant to exercise. I get it if you love these dogs and you want to get one, but if you're the type that are working 40 plus hours a week and they're gonna have to be at home by themselves or worse in a crate or anything, this frankly, it's not the dog for you. They need to be out and about. With Enzo and Lotus, assuming no exercise restrictions, we try to be outside at least twice a day. We go to the park in the morning. Right now it's summertime, so we go right at sunrise. If it's winter, we wait usually closer to noon, so it's warmer. But go once in the morning and then something else in the evening. Now I say exercise and stimulation because while exercise is definitely important, they also need mental stimulation, so that's why training is so good, and that's why they respond to it so well. Come. Sit. Sit. So I know like if there's bad weather with Enzo, sometimes we'll just play like the fine game inside where he has to wait and then one of us will go hide and then he has to literally go around and find us in the house. And that's honestly, it's probably the most exhausting thing for him after 10, 15 minutes. He is way more exhausted from that than going to the park because it is just so much stimulation. And that's why we're always training and working on more stuff and doing little bits here and there. Keeps them on their toes, keeps them engaged and they, they want that. All right, so that's gonna do it for this video. Five things you need to know before getting a German Shepherd. They shed a little. They're prone to hip and growing pain, so be mindful of that. Make sure you give them ample time to rest before and after meals so we don't have any stomach flip issues. Socialize them early and give them plenty of exercise and stimulation. Appreciate you guys watching. Like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to follow along with Enzo and Lotus for more German Shepherd information. If you wanna see more vlog style videos of them, you can check out my channel, which is linked below. Other than that, appreciate you guys as always, and we will see you on the next video. Right, Enzo? Enzo? Enzo, say, say bye. Say bye.